Yo. What's up, everybody? So, you know the drill. February happened and games were played. Rocking that Adventure Time shirt. You know, I love the, the hero's journey. Anytime I'm able to witness someone go from nothing, from zero to hero, you know, I'm there. So, February was a, uh, I guess, kind of like simple month. We didn't really, I didn't play too crazy. Um, but I was able to get some games in. I, you, this is the last time you will ever see this game <laughs> in rotation. Because once I beat it, I'm done. I, I was done. I'm not buying the DLC. And I'll watch whatever else comes out about this. But um, starting off, I finally beat Kingdom Hearts. I only beat KH3. Looks not even in the system anymore. Um, I finally beat it on critical mode. Once, I think the once I beat the the Monsters Inc. World, that was the last issue. That was the last problem. After that, I didn't have any issues. Um, helps to learn the game and the systems that you have to play with. But once I beat that game. Or once I beat that boss, it was it was open road after that. It, it really got easier. I was able to pretty much one shot certain bosses after a while. Um, you know the be the best part is the last third of the game. Easily, easily, the last third of the game is just this is why I replay. <laughs> um, I you know I'm waiting for Kingdom Hearts four now. <laughs> All my life I've just been waiting on Kingdom Hearts, but really fun game. Um, I don't know why I got so much hate on. Like, uh, if you want to be nitpicky about it, again, it's never gonna live up to the, to the expectations. But it's still a fun game. You still get to run on walls and drop down on on enemies from thirty stories high and do a crazy damage. You still get to fly. You know, like you just there's certain points where it's just like, okay, man, look, we're playing a video game. Don't forget that. Um, so Kingdom Hearts three, it is done. You know, the deed is done. <laughs> I beat it on critical mode. Uh, you know, I got the Oblivion, the Oblivion Keyblade, it does crazy good damage. Um, it's, it was fun, it was a good time. I have, there was a couple moments where I was just like, man, this is ridiculous. But then I gotta remember, like, I wasn't playing properly, and then once I started using everything, which, by the way, using everything means using your shot lock and link. Shot locks and links. You have to do a lot of damage. You're constantly being swarmed by enemies, and it's uh, it you can get tedious. You can definitely get wear you out. <clears throat> but I'm done with it. I am, you know. I looked up the other keyblades after beating the game and what cool things I can get. And quite honestly, there's just nothing that draws my attention anymore. I got what I wanted. I beat the game on critical mode. I have a zero intention on getting the DLC. I'll just watch the YouTube. Excuse me. I'll just watch the YouTube video on that. But this ain't coming back up. I have zero intention on 100% of this game, but I am glad to be done with it. You know, it all, I mean, it definitely set up number four. So, Kingdom Hearts 3, done. All right. So, after Kingdom Hearts, the other game I played a lot of uh, during February was <laughs> God Hand. Uh, if you've seen the, the past videos, you'll know it's a game that uh, is a... Basically, you're playing an anime. <laughs> it is a, it's set in a Western post-apocalyptic type scenario. There's demons at work. You get special abilities. Your current character is like the chosen one. And you have to fight your way through uh, an army that is being sent after you by a, a demon kingpin, you can call him. Real fun game. It's a side. It's a side scrolling beat 'em up, but you get to explore air arenas, so you kind of get some some freedom to explore a little bit. It is cool to see the animations because there are all kinds of different fighting styles. From what it looks like, there's over three hundred uh, like strikes, and that's not including special abilities. So there's a lot of moves that you can learn, and in this game, you get to create your combo strings. So, X, triangle, uh, no, square has a, a string where you just keep pressing square and he'll do the moves that you set in order. So, if you 
it'll do jab, right hook, left leg kick, right side kick. Like for every time you press square, it'll do it in that order. Uh, and then you get special abilities. Uh, you also get like, special moves, so like uppercuts and stuff that pop up enemies, or uh, like the one-inch punch that send opponents flying, launching abilities. So there's comp, there's special moves that do stuff like that. So there's all kinds of techniques. So it's a fun game because you get to get creative with combat, and they'll start looking different. And then enemies require different at different attacks, and they're weak to certain attacks. <clears throat> so you have to change up your techniques so that you can take them out. It's it's a fun game. It's really it's really different. Again, it's a PS2 game. It's hard to find. It's like a two hundred dollar game, uh, and I might be wrong about those prices, but last time I checked, it was pretty expensive. Uh, God Hand on the PS2 gets pretty expensive. Well, it's it's definitely fun on the PS3. All you have to do is just load up credits on the PlayStation Network for yourself, and then you'll be able to spend it on the PS3 if you have a PS3 that works. <laughs> Or you can emulate the PS2 version if you can emulate PS2 games. But it is a fun game. It's definitely turn your mind off type violence, but still have a tactical mind because the enemies will take you out. <laughs> I'm almost done with it. I'm around the 70% mark for it. I'll probably be beating it either this month or next month if I get the time. Uh, really fun. Like I said, visually, just to look at the special abilities, to see stuff like the, the dragon kick where he does like a, a walk-up sidekick and then sends people out the stratosphere like in like the Team Rocket, like you'll just send them flying. Uh, so really fun to see. Highly recommend playing it. It is fun, it's challenging, and then it's just visually appealing if you like fighting movies or stuff like that. And then finally, the last game that, we, that we're going to be talking about here is a game that I have personally bought multiple times. This is uh, the third time I've picked this game up. Uh, and ever since, you know, I'm not gonna buy it again, again. But you know, it's the game that I've only bought, the only game that I've ever bought three times, <laughs> and that game is Mortal Kombat for the PS3. MK9 got me playing uh, using the fight stick. This game is awesome. Like I said, I bought it three times: once for the Xbox 360 in 2011 when it came out, once for the PS3. As like a cheapy, beat up, nasty, gnarled up copy of it for the PS3, because I didn't have an Xbox 360 anymore. And then when I was working at the mall, I made friends with the guys that worked at GameStop, and they were always, you know, giving me the hookup, or they would kind of like, hey man, we got you know special stuff or merch. I got like T-shirts and stuff like that. Um, but they called me up, they're like, hey man, I know you're a Mortal Kombat fan. We got this brand new factory sealed copy of Mortal Kombat 9 for the PS3. It's a complete edition. I'll hold it in the back for you. <laughs> after the, my after my shift, I was sprinting over. So it, I bought it three times. That was the third time. And this was a factory sealed copy. And uh, you know, it's I've been playing, I, I'm pretty sure I can check how many hours I have in this game, but it's hundreds, easily hundreds. It's, it's so fun to play because the, the ladder is probably the most fair. If that makes any sense. If you ever played a fighting game and you put it on like super hard mode, it feels like they're just reading your inputs. It like there's nothing you can do. You're fighting the computer and the computer is looking at your answers. But on this game, it actually feels like when you when you beat when you when you put it on hard mode or you put it on expert mode, you're not fighting the computer. You're fighting a better version. Oh, you're out fighting the computer. But you're not fighting a computer that knows your answer. You're just f fighting like a scaled up better version of, of what character you're fighting. So instead of just doing basic one hits, two hits combos and just leaving it alone, on easy mode, it'll just do jabs. On medium mode, it'll start doing one hit, one, two hit combos. On hard mode, it starts doing uh, pop-up combos into special attacks. On expert mode, it starts doing pop-up combos into special attacks, into meter burns, into chain link combo. Like it's just it kind of builds up on itself, but it doesn't feel like it's just reading your inputs. So it's, it's one of my favorite games for that. It offers like what my favorite things to do on that game using the difficulty mode is to um, is to put it on five rounds to win. So like Iron Man, Mortal Kombat. And then just going up the ladder, putting on a hard mode and going up the ladder up until you get to about Goro. Because that's the thing with fighting games is once they put in like giant bosses or like, again, like Goro or like 
Shao Kahn. You stop playing the game how you were having fun playing the game, like doing combos and doing pop-ups and linking and burning bar and doing you know stuff like that. Uh, you you ch have to change up the entire strategy, and it turns into just like okay, well I'm I'm blocking and then I'm gonna use a fireball and then I'm gonna duck and then I'm gonna use a fireball. And I'm gonna and it just gets so boring and repetitive and that's just not what I like. So. Five rounds to win, fight all the way up till you get to a Shang Tsung, beat Shang Tsung, and then just like, all right, next. And it's easy to get a couple hours into that. Um, one of my favorite games, easily of all time, easily of all time. Got me into using the fight stick. Uh, my first fight stick is uh, was probably the most expensive one, <laughs> but it I highly, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all times. It's easily just one of my favorite games of all time. So those are the games of February. Nothing too exciting, like I said, this and then this. <laughs> but it's, it's a new month. We'll just palate cleanse. This was mostly like we needed to get this get this done, get this out of the way, and now I can play. The current games I'm playing right now are, are pretty fun. Whew, everybody's talking about Helldivers. I got a PS1 Helldiver that no one's talking about. <laughs> so, all right then. Until next time, buenas noches.